but that only gives us detail by date of when things happened. And we need more detail than that. That's what we use the job sheets for. The job sheets will give us detail by job. So it's going to break up this number by job for both work in process and finished goods, depending on if the job is open or closed, completed or not completed. And for each individual job, we'll then see how much of the uh, direct labor goes to it, how much of the work in process and how much overhead is applied to each individual job. So we'll get the detail of each individual job that we are working on. And we'll also be able to sum up the jobs, all the jobs that are not yet completed. That should add up to what is on the trial balance under work in process or the balance sheet. And all the jobs that have been completed but have not yet been shipped, haven't gone out to the customers yet, should be, if we sum up all those jobs, the number that's on the balance sheet for finished uh, inventory that uh, is not yet gone out, has not been transferred yet to cost of goods sold. The content of any individual job cost sheet is usually going to tell us who the customer is. We're going to have the very in important information of the job number. That's how we're going to track the jobs typically. And we're going to have uh, any customer information on the job cost sheet. And then it will break up the costs of the job. And those costs will typically include direct materials, direct labor, and overhead per job. We'll sum those up. That'll, those will give us the total cost for the job. The job cost sheet could look somewhat like an invoice we might see in like a construction company or some type of service business. It's not the same thing. The job cost sheet is tracking the cost, but we could use that cost information, of course, then to fill out and make an invoice with it. We might be very transparent in our invoice and say, hey, look, this is how much it cost us. And we have a markup that's going to be typical for a construction type of company or possibly many customized projects where we actually say, hey, here's how much the materials cost, here's how much the overhead is, here's how much labor cost, and here's how much our markup is. This is basically our profit margin. And that could be one way to create the invoice. So just, it's important to keep those two th things separate. The job sheets are, are not the same as an invoice, but the invoice may look similar because we may base our invoice in part on the items uh, on the job sheet.